saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and took the knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. And behold, the man which was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against them. And God had a blessing to the reading of his word. Church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. amen. All right, I feel good this morning. Right, and I, I feel like praying. Right. Lord, I just want to come to you, Lord, and ask you to go down yes, through the hospitals and the rest homes and touch each and every one of those people that are sick. The ones that couldn't wait to come get up this morning yes. because their body was hurt. Yes, I just want you to ask you to touch each and every one of them. Lord, with your grace and mercy, all things are possible. I just ask you, Lord, to bless each and every one of us, Lord. Bless my pastor. Bless the old, old church family. Bless each and every one of them, Lord. Heal fix around them, Lord. Protect them, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.
Thank you, everybody. Stand up for a minute. I want you to look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor everything is going to be all right. Everything. Oh 
looking that way. It don't have no truth of pain. Since I started this old Christian journey, I'll set to you.
clearance of all that we're doing to run this as the clergy and the building and get the board and all clear. I bless my uh, fellowship and a hand clap. <laughs> Ken comes up at the morning, everybody. And I always do something from you, you know, just at the end of the day. Thank you for that. I don't have one gripe with that choir. I, I, I can't figure out why they won't let me sing. But, <laughs> but it, it's okay. I still love them. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. I hear one of them sneak back talking about you too short. But that's okay. <laughs> Gospel has the scriptures in your head. I want to lift up uh, maybe one verse. Uh, I wasn't going to do a whole bunch of them, but I'm just going to lift up the 12th verse out of this chapter. And it says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none in the name of the heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Amen. And just for a little while, I want to talk from a topic of by what name have you done this? By what name have you done this, Father? For your mercy is forgiven us, and your love is forgiven us, and your patience is called us. Help us this morning to be taught once more by giving me such a holy host, so we may love you more, follow you better, and see you in the way. Father, preaching time. Before we can have preaching, we must send you to preach. Ask Father for that anointing to make preaching easy. easy. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in my sight, O Lord, my strength, my redemption. Somebody say amen. 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 Um, I do ask the Lord's blessing for all of you that have given a gift to the church today. The gift, the giver, the purpose. In Jesus' name, somebody say amen. Amen. Names are very significant. You know, I, I don't know what it is, but I, I like to hear my name. I think it's very important. And what I want you to do, I want everybody to just miss somebody to just turn and tell them your name. Don't get me wrong now. I'm Wallace, I know you know your brother's name, but turn around and tell them. <laughs> Y'all tell them, tell them your name. Amen. Now, now, yeah, I'm on the school team, so I'm, I'm, I'm a teacher today. All right. Now, if you like the name, raise your hand. Look around. See, and, and, and when, when somebody calls my name, I feel pretty good. I, I think it's the world's greatest name. But if the name Charles can't say you, nobody. Somebody missed it. And, and they, names are significant. Can I talk about it? Yeah. The Bible says that a good name is better than great witches. Yes. When I hear the name Judas, I think traitor. Thomas Dowling, Hitler, murderer. Martin Luther King, civil rights. Albert Einstein, intelligence. Yes. I threw that one in for bread. T.D. Jakes, home yes. Steve Jones, Apple Computer. Bill Gates, Microsoft. <laughs> Colin Powell, honesty. Kobe Bryant, basketball. Barack 
Obama? Leadership. And for the president. But we honor the names of these historical leaders of our civilization. How much more should we honor the name of the Almighty God? The name of the Lord is sacred. It's a holy name. But at that name, don't you know that angels bow down? Yeah. What are you saying, preacher? I'm saying that Warren Buffett, they open the doors of finance. Einstein, the doors of brilliance. Michelangelo, they open the doors of art. Thurman Marshall, they open the doors of equality. But Paul told the church at, the, at Philippi 2.10 that at the name of Jesus, yeah, yeah, yeah. every knee shall bow yeah. of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. No, will, no one will escape their name. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you really why. Yeah, yeah. And you got a good name. Yeah, yeah. But the name of Jesus is able to do a whole lot, a whole lot for everybody. Yeah, y'all trying to tell you the truth, man. Amen. The name is majestic. And it has a multiplicity of distinction. Abraham called him Jehovah Jireh. The Lord will provide. Y'all remember when, when Abraham put Isaac on that altar? Yeah. Was getting ready to kill him? And, 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 and the Lord said, don't touch him. Right. And, and Isaac already asked him, where are we going to get that offering? And he said, the Lord will provide. God has always provided for everybody in this building. If you're sitting in here clothed and in your right mind, if you can see me and I can see you, God has been good to you. Something happened to me Wednesday night, I never thought was going to happen. I heard a knock on my door. Uncle Wallace pulled on me in, saying he'd come to have Bible study with me. Do you know how good that felt? He won't talk and talk about fishing. He wanted to be a fisher of men. That was so good to me. And look, he did a whole lot of talking to me. That's a lot of stuff up in Uncle Wallace. Don't let him fool you. The prophet Ezekiel saw him as Jehovah's Shammah. The Lord is there. And in referring to the city, Ezekiel saw the vision of God being present with his people. Don't you know that when two or three gather together, touch and agree, that God is there? Yeah. Oh, I tell you, the, the, the biggest problem with marriages in the United States of this America is that we don't allow God to be in the middle. Put God there. He's already there. Go ahead and, and make him a mix into everything that you do. Just when you need him most, yeah. he's right there. Yeah. Peter knew that his name is like no other. Speaking to the rulers and the elders of Egypt, he said, Be it known to you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus of Nazareth, whom you crucified, yeah. whom God raised from the dead, even by him don't this man stand here before you. This is the stone which the builders rejected. It has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other. I want you to know that you can call on a whole lot of folk. You can go to a whole lot of doctors. You can take a whole lot of medicine. But if you don't have Jesus in the middle of it, you're wasting your time. I want you to know it ain't going to do you no good to call on Muhammad, to live up bad grace, to call on Confucius, to look the Buddha on your bookshelf. I, I want you to know that no other name makes us sing that song. No other name. No other name. Oh, we used to talk about none other name but Jesus. We used to sit there and say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. That's his name. And I don't know how far we got off, but you can go to the schoolhouse all month long and never hear one child say Jesus. It didn't used to be that way. We used to start school with bread, move to the Pledge of Allegiance. I ain't heard the Pledge of Allegiance in two years in school. Uh, and then you can't understand why the kids is doing this and that and don't have no religion in them. Excuse me, excuse me, religion. But, but I want y'all to remember that Jesus is his name. And for Jesus, I repent of all my sins. 
right now and forevermore. For Jesus, I always ask for forgiveness. And I always ask for salvation. For Jesus, because there's something in that name. For at the name of Jesus, trunks become soul. Thieves become trustworthy. At the name of Jesus, drug addicts, prostitutes, and murderers become minor citizens. And because of this name, one of these days, the graves are going to split wide open and the dead are going to live. And we which are alive and remain will be changed by the power of his name. Oh, death, where is thy sting? I want you to know that it's all right to call on the name of Jesus. For he is I am that I am, the lily of the valley, the bright and the morning star, the giver of every good and perfect gift. He is my Lord and my God, my comforter, my friend. When I didn't have a friend, he is Jehovah's alone, my peace, a peace that surpassed all understanding. I want you to know that most of all, he is Jehovah Rophah. He is the Lord, my shepherd. I shall not walk. He maketh me to lead down, lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still walls. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea. Somebody say yea. And yea. Somebody say yea. And yea. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will be of no evil, for thou art with me. Is God with you today? How many of y'all have God with you? Be you take him with you everywhere you go. Ah, let me prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup running over. I was promised two angels were going to be with me for the rest of my life. I have goodness on the right and mercy on the left and they follow me all the days of my life. I don't have to worry about nothing because God will meet my needs according to his riches and glory. I want you to know that I don't have to fight nobody because the God that I serve he is my battle in the time of war. I don't have to eat and worry about what I'm going to eat tomorrow because he is my bread in a starving land. He's my water in dry places. And he's God all by himself. The old folk used to say that from everlasting to everlasting, he's God and he's God all by himself. And I want you to know if you hold to God's unchanging hand, everything going to be all right. If you put God with you, allow God to help you. Everything going to be all right. He is a mighty God, an everlasting Father, and a Prince of Peace. And one day, one Thursday afternoon, I didn't know what was going on in my life, but I know that I couldn't live the same way I had been living, that I had to stop doing the voodoo that I was doing so well. And God touched me. Have you ever been touched by the Lord? He touched me. I started seeing things differently. I started walking differently. I started wanting to do things to serve the Lord. And then I ended up going to church. I stood in the back of the room. I didn't know what was going on. But somebody touched me. It wasn't the preacher. It wasn't the deacon. Nobody was around me. But I got touched. Uh, and when I got touched, uh, I couldn't hold a steel no more. I couldn't sit steel no more. I was never a good dancer, but I got up uh, and I started moving my feet. Uh, I started shaking my limbs. Uh, I started talking to the Lord. Everything was all right. And I kept saying over and over and over, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. And I want you to know uh, that if you call on the Lord, have I got a witness? If you call on the Lord, somebody say he will. Say he will. 
Say he will. Say he will. Say he will. Say he will. Say he will. Say he will. Say he will. Say he will. Say he will. Say he will. Say he will. Come to your destiny. Mighty God. That's the man. Mighty God. Neither is it salvation. I like the end where I started and any other. But there's none of the name, friend, under heaven, given among men, whereby we must be saved. As we open the door for the church, I'm asking you this morning. If you die today, would you be asking for the Bible? In the presence of the Lord. And a whole lot of folks dying this week. We buried a whole lot of folks last week. And if not, I invite you to open your heart and receive Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life. That thou shalt confess with your mouth, Lord Jesus, and shall believe in your heart that God hath raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. But with the heart, Man believeth into righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made for salvation. And look, if you have known Jesus, if you have drifted away, that's a good little thing. What is it? Yeah. 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 You can always come back. Oh. He, he said, let whosoever will come, yeah. and I will no wise cast out. Yeah. And so, if that's your case in the life, after the service, raise your hand if you want to. If you'll be over here, we have counsel, pray, talk with me, fellowship. But I need you to help me sing this closing song. If y'all do that, if you're singing right, we'll leave now. Okay. Amen. Amen. Uh, I don't know about you, but that's for me. There is no way I can live without him. No way. Will you help me this morning? No way.
also a kindred spirit. For mine says, it reminds us that I can't even walk without your holding the hand. Then, Lord, as we think about that man, woman, or child, who may not be saved, you want to lift them up in prayer and remember they will not seek, they must be sought. They will not come, they must be bought. They will not learn, they must be taught. If every soul will win one soul, and every soul will be saved. Y'all to the world, say, go get your one. And now, to him who's able to keep us from falling and present us falling before his presence with exceeding great joy, to the only one I stand on Savior, be glory and majesty, to men and shout powers of thy power. Y'all sing along with choir. Amen. Bless your old world. May heaven continue to smile upon you.